Welcome. Today, we'll learn how to set up our availability and services within a zone that you've created. In the last video, I created a zone, but I didn't set up the availability or services in that zone. So today, I'll be working with that zone to show you how to set up your availability and services. To begin, start by logging into your movinghelper.com account. Once you're logged in, click on the Zone Settings tab. As you can see, the zone I set up in the other video is marked incomplete with a yellow triangle. Let's fix that. Click on the name to edit the zone. Click the Edit button to edit your availability for this specific zone. It's recommended for new service providers to only accept one or two jobs per day. So we'll do one morning job and one afternoon job on Wednesday. On Friday, we'll do two evening jobs, and we'll leave the rest marked as unavailable for this specific zone. Hit Save to continue. Now you can set up your services. Let's choose Wednesday. And we'll offer the load and unload service. Typically, the average crew size is two helpers, but you can change that to whatever fits your needs. Also, it's recommended for new service providers to check out your local rates to see what a competitive rate would be for your area. I'll choose to do $100 for my area. Hit Save. Hit Edit Service to add another service. Let's do Wednesday again. But this time, we'll do the Pack and Unpack service. I'm going to set my crew size to two helpers, and I'm going to do $100 again. Now, let's talk about discounts, which is optional for service providers. We'll start with the percentage discount. If I want to offer $90 to a customer on three hours or more, I'll make my percentage rate 10%. This way, the customer pays $90 on three hours or more. Now, let's talk about the fixed rate. New service providers get tripped up on how the fixed rate works. We recommend service providers offer $5 to $10 off their original rate. In my example, I want to offer $10 off my original rate. So I need to set it at $90. Most providers would think they would need to put it at $10, but $10 would be the new rate and customers would only pay $10 instead of $9 on three hours or more. Hit save when you're ready to continue. Now, let's say you wanted to copy services from Wednesday to Friday. You can do that for, with this button right here. You copy from Wednesday to Friday. And as you can see, Friday services match exactly Wednesday services. We're not going to add any more services, so I'm going to hit the cancel button. Now on this page, you can delete the zone permanently right here, or you can already start to make it active by clicking here, or you can click it to make it inactive. You can also click on the coverage or zone settings tab to go back to the main menu. We'll do the coverage button. As you can see, the zone is set up properly with the availability and services offered in that zone is already set to active. Thanks for once again for watching the video on learning how to set up your availability and services within a zone that you've created.